Hey y'all, Dekuman here, and welcome back to Stellar Blade. Last time, knocking out more side quests in the Great Desert. Man, it has been a thing. We've been going crazy. In fact, we've gotten so much that I've unlocked a brand new mini game in this game. Fishing! And, uh, am I going a little overboard? <laughs> uh, well, uh, let, let, me, let me show you real quick. I might have gone a little overboard in the meantime. Yeah, I, uh... I went a little crazy, and I managed to fill out a, more than half of the compendium. Uh, I'm kind of stuck at the moment, though. See, whenever you catch a fish, you get points, and you can take those points back to Clyde to buy more bait, uh, and also fishing data, which apparently, one, improves your ability to catch bigger fish, and two, lets him tell you about a new fishing point. And the most recent one, well, he told me about a region I don't have, some place called Eidos 9. Now, I have Eidos 7, but I don't have no Eidos 9. So, I'm a little curious about where that's going. Hmm. Anyway, uh, I'm back here in Matrix 11. Oh. Ever find myself back here again? May the memories live on forever. Uh, to pick up, uh, the teddy bear. that we were supposed to be missing. Must be top up, must be up here. There you are, yep, the teddy bear in the swing. I found it. Oh. I didn't think we were going to check things like this. Let's see. Huh. There is some kind of foreign object inside. Nice. <laughs> right, let's take it. Thank goodness I don't have to do this again. Thank you, there's our teddy bear. And I will happily take that return to the client. Whew. Do not make me have to walk out of here. Um, you might have also noticed that my beta energy is actually a little bigger since I last had a video. Well, it turns out as I was, you know, getting to Matrix 11's uh, hideout there, I actually came across an angel corpse that I had missed. Picked it up and there was a beta core inside. Hey, this is the bear you were talking about. What a waste of time. I'm sure angels have better things to... Huh? Come on, man. Here it is. There was something other than stuffing inside it. It must be Jade's memory stick, right? Jade. Oh, Jade. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for coming back to me. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Let's go, Jade. Let's find a place where you can finally rest. Thank you. Oh, talk to Jet. This isn't the end of this little quest? Interesting. Uh, while I'm here, I should probably do a couple turn-ins. Uh, message board first, just in case I have a... Sir? Ah, Angel. I was too shaken up to say much before. Ah, feeling better now, hopefully? My lost sibling. Thank you, Angel. It's not much, but this is all I have left. Go on, take it. Ah, uh, thank you there, buddy. Ooh, skill points. And yeah, I spent almost all the skill. Oh my God. <laughs> you are kidding me. Uh, which also reminds me, um, apparently we had an update since the last time I played this and we've got some new free costumes. Uh, that, oh my God. abso friggin lutely not, but God damn, that's hilarious. Uh, but no, the ones we actually got uh, oh my. Those are a, uh, those are a bit revealing. I think I'll stick with this outfit, which, uh, is the outfit I actually got for finishing that little quest line. You know, the one where we had to find those six, uh, religious passages? Yeah, that's this outfit. I, uh, I like how this came out. I like it a lot. All right. I'm gonna turn in some stuff here. Yes. Got your fish. Thank goodness. 
And your passcode for 20,000 big ones. Still gotta do this one. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, you are asking for a channel catfish. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. News made with fish must contain something that jobs in. There you are. Oh, fish research. Uh, this one wants halibut. It should be useful for Zion. I can't just ignore it. Man, all my fishing is suddenly paying off. A gift for a fishing maniac. Uh, my father was the best scavenger and a fishing maniac. There's a hidden cave near the solar tower in the wasteland. It used to be a fishing spot, only my father knew. Oh. Well, thank you. This request sounds fun. <laughs> no reason not to do that one. Damn. Just knocked out like three requests for no good reason other than just I was fishing. Hello. I much prefer yes. Uh oh. Oh my god. Oh. My word, those are oh god, that is incredibly revealing. <laughs> Well, there goes all my Bitcoins. <laughs> wow. So apparently there were also some outfits that Roxanne got as part of the update and damn. Like, damn. Also, apparently there is uh, refighting old bosses now. I mean, not just like as we do as part of the story, but there's actually a like time trial boss fight mechanic. Which is, sounds kind of crazy. Now, I want to sell some fish to the fishmonger. That's a quest, apparently. Huh? The heck? Am I literally just about to find a can here, just sitting here? I am. I am literally about to just find a can sitting here. It's just straight up just sitting on the ground. Completely out in the open for no good reason. Sorry. Oh, Angel. My, my, you sure give me strength. Since you seem to come by so often, I'll try to cheer up. The feeling is mutual. Seeing someone who works so hard gives me strength too. All right, uh, fish? To think of all people, I'd be asking, how did you happen to come across fish to begin with? <laughs> when I was on patrol, near the Oasis. You must have met uh, a gentleman named Clyde there. Yep. <laughs> it's good to hear that he's still alive. Anyhow, thank you for deciding to help me out. Oh, is that it? The feeling. All right, shop. Oh yeah, I uh, I, I should also put a, You can get some weird shit while fishing. Like I found some nuclear waste, a tire, a fish cake, a canned ham. Uh, I'm selling a couple actual fish here. I don't know if, if any I'll need to keep, so... Very grateful. What do you think you're... Sorry, I mean... Are you actually cooking? For what reason? Reason? Everything doesn't have to have a reason, you know. You had no reason to help me, but you did it anyway. Yes, you're right. Scraps, parts, energy, you name it. Everybody's fighting for scraps. Let's do this later. No, we don't need this now. This is just how things are. <laughs> Giving up the finer things in life. If all we're living for is bare necessity, how are we any different from the machines? I'm just trying to hold on to the past. That's all. Oh, it must be nice. I'm surprised. All this time I thought you were just a freak. <laughs> I must have some life in me after all. If I manage to surprise an angel. <laughs> See you later, Barry. I hope your determination never dies. You got it. Take care, Angel. Ah, uh, I'm I'm enjoying this one. This is a very lighthearted quest. Stubbornness. <laughs> oh, thanks for the bait, man. Wait, you have a new quest? Sorry, but we're closed. I'm in no mood to continue. Okay, I'll be back. Oh. Angel. Hold on just a minute. Wait, what? Huh? Aren't you curious why I don't want to work? You can ask. And why do I need to know? You're right. 
I guess it's not that interesting. But please, could you just uh, allow me to explain myself? Okay. I thought talking about it would make me feel better. Go ahead. On the night of the full moon, there will be a memorial service in honor of the fallen sentinels. Oh. The wine saved for the memorial service. It's all gone. What? Do you think it's Oh, the heck no. No, no. I, I may have just had a sip or two every night. Oops. <laughs> I don't get more wine in time for the memorial service. The man might actually kill me. So, are you saying you want to have him killed first? <laughs> no. Okay. You know about the Talos Plaza in 807? Oh, man. Don't send me back to frickin' 807. It's flooded. Yeah, I know the place. If you could go there and bring me just three bottles of wine from the cellar, well, you would save my life, Angel. A life worth only three bottles of wine. I'll look for it on the way back. <sighs> My man Barry going, making me go out and get wine from Eidos friggin' 7. <sighs> Seriously, also, there's a new mission back at the Tetrapod? Really? Hello. <gasps> oh, it's the lovebirds! And yeah, seeing you stand and walk like this, I just, it's good to see. So, just what is it that brings you two here? I have a request for you. Hmm? At one point, a small drone came to the bar. It's not the one next to me, is it? Drone? Oh, do you mean Digger? Oh! The drone heard Enya singing, said it recognized the song, then just left. Oh. I've done everything I can, but I can't seem to find that drone. Hmm. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this. If it has something to do with my lost memories, do you think you can get more details from the drone? Oh. Well, Digger should be in Zion. It shouldn't be too difficult to find out. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'll let you no. Know the second I hear anything. <laughs> in the meantime, you should head back. Oh. Best to stay safe. Thank you. Is Digger, like, part of Enya's lost consciousness? Is that the play here? Madama Machine. Uh, you said he's somewhere in Zion? Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's moved, apparently. Oh, yeah, he is. He's over here now. Hi, Digger. How are you finding things here? Are you liking Zion? This environment appears in need of beautification. <laughs> I'm currently learning the rules of the city. After that has been done, I will decide on my plan. All right, uh, well, first things first. Has your shop changed? It has a little bit. Not much. Actually, no, I don't think it has. I think he's still got the exact same stuff. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that even in Zion are really good. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. To no, we're not done yet, Digger. Good to see I'm glad no please. Enya's information. Digger, you were the one who spoke with Enya, right? Yes. Artistic activities are truly amazing. It was my first time hearing a song. I feel like my understanding of human culture has improved considerably. Mm. I heard you know something about the song. I would like you to tell me more about it. Yes, Eve. You're a very special guest, so I'll tell you. The information actually has to do with Enya's song. Okay, come on. I traveled through many different regions before settling at the Scrap Plains. I collected 149 petabytes of data during my journey. Holy shit, that's huge. When in Zion, I discovered there was a person there who sang a song that matched previously recorded voice data in my audio archive. Different singers can sing the same song. No. The data similarity is so high that it leads me to believe it's the vocalization of the same person. Oh! I acquired this data from a location <gasps> called the Opera House. It is now known as the Barry. Oh, that's where that thing is! Now I've told you everything I told Enya. Oh. Right. It's all starting to make sense, I think. Thank you, Digger. <laughs> I'm glad to be of service. Please drop by again. I know where that is. That's that buried dome that's in the Great Desert, isn't it? Cool. Go to the opera house. All right. Well, 
It's like I got a few different places to head, including one I'm not too thrilled about. Freaking Ido 7 again, man. Ugh. You know, these, uh, these regions without maps are a pain in the butt to deal with, you know? Matrix 11, Ido 7. When you don't give me a map, and you give me maps in other places, it, it makes those areas without maps unpleasant to visit, you know? Uh, my plus side is that this is literally right next to a fast travel spot. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> Maybe not the good shells. Okay. I'm pretty sure I was holding sideways to dodge that, so I don't know at all how that worked. All right, what am I looking for? The wine cellar, so I need to be going down. Lots of down. Hmm? The heck? Why is there a person here? Come all the way out here for junk. Meeting an angel in a place like this, lucky me. Actually, I was just about to head back to Zion. Did you find anything useful? Oh. I didn't come out all this way just to pick up junk. Mm -hmm. Then why? I deciphered a code that was intentionally hidden inside 807's map data. What map data? I decoded it, and this is what it gave me. Wanderers will find their rest when the song of the siren reaches their ears. The siren they're referring to probably refers to the statue of a mermaid in Patelos Plaza. Long ago, there was a time where scavengers were actually called wanderers. It was like a code that was waiting just for me. So that's why I came here, to find rest, in spite of all the dangers. Did you ever find it? No, I gave up, because finding the siren was too hard with all the nativas around. Huh. Do you want me to take a look instead? I'd be so grateful. You should be able to find rest by activating the siren with this modified fusion cell. Leave it to me. You should return to Zion. Okay, then I'll be waiting for you there. Ah, so I have another quest in this area. Interesting, very interesting. Dented fusion cell. <laughs> well, first things first, let's find the wine, and then we'll deal with that. Wait, what? There are more people here? There's no map data. What are you doing here? You're not a scavenger. I came here to look for my partners because I heard the water had dried. Oh. I'm not seeing my partners. They should be here. Partners? A while back, I was part of a trio with a couple other scavengers. We all used to scavenge around 8 or 7 back in the day. One day, mixed in with some random junk we came across, we found a clue about possible treasures in the flooded square. We got our hands on some dive suits and swam our way there. The place was brimming with treasure not seen above ground. I remember how beautiful it was. But then, bad luck met good luck. Just like that. The others started having trouble with their dive suits. I... Only I was able to escape. And your partners? They died? Mm. Yes. When I returned to Zion, I put the scavenger life behind me. And became something of a recluse. Every night I was plagued by horrible dreams. Angel, please. I'd ask that you come to me immediately if you find any evidence of scavengers here. All right. I'll let you know if I find something. Wild. Man, why are there suddenly people here? <laughs> I mean, I clean out the friggin' water and suddenly everybody's decided to show up. There's not more people around. <laughs> Dude, you are like 15 feet away from my Nativa. How he's so calm and, you know, casually having a conversation with me. Well, there's a friggin' Nativa over here. There's the liquor store. It's a wine cellar. Hold on. Take one of each. The three bottles Barry asked for should suffice. It isn't just Barry who could use a drink. Ah, <laughs> uh, what's the matter, Adam? You want some alcohol? 
There's two. There's three different types of wine. Nice. No, no, we are not going back to the client. I got other missions I gotta do here in Eidos. Uh, search for Banna's comrades and explore their traces. Search for the Siren Stone statue. Oh, that's uh, probably them over there. Aha! Yeah, I don't think I could open this beforehand. It's the corpse of a scavenger. Actually, wait. There are two of them. Also, I have no control right now. Yes. They swam here and then found themselves stranded. Aven, I found a journal. Well, lay it on me. This place is filled with treasure, but I didn't expect my insulated diving suit to break down. I should have done more tests before coming. Looks like Baran escaped. I'm glad that crybaby was able to get out at least. If he was here with me, he would have kept crying and shouting that he was scared. <laughs> oh. I'm still doing okay. I've got enough body cells left and preserved food for supplements. Now I just have to wait for Baran. He'll definitely come back and save us. He's a bit clumsy, but he cares a lot about his comrades. Oh. I'm hitting my limit. Why hasn't he come back? Are preparations taking that long? Energy has fallen below 30%, damn it. I knew Baron would do this. That wimp left us behind. Everything we now own belongs to him. I bet he's laughing, damn traitor. Baran, you traitor. No, you damned murderer. I'll never forgive you. I'll curse your name forever. Forever. Oh, that was pleasant. Ah, <sighs> Blake's memory stick. And Abe's memory stick. This is Baron Sen. He and his partners dove to find treasure underwater. Yep. It looks like their dive suits malfunctioned, so they waited here to be rescued. But Baron left, thinking they were already dead. Should we keep this a secret? I'm not sure. Do you think he'll be able to take it? Let's take what we can for now and go. All right. Well, that's two of these ready to be dealt with. Uh. Now I gotta find the Siren Stone statue, which is actually pretty far away. I might as well figure out how this is gonna end. We found the remains of your former partners. Uh Oh shit, I have a choice. I, I can't do this to him, man. Here they are. The two lost memory sticks. If you lay their memories in the memory chamber, I'm sure forgiveness will find you in the end. Huh? Forgiveness? N nothing I'm very grateful that my partner's memories were recovered. I'll be sure to keep them in a good spot in the memory chamber and pray there daily. I think I might finally be able to wake up from this nightmare. Angel, thank you so much. There we go. Nah, I couldn't do it. And I, I feel like an ass. I'd feel like an ass if I told the, this guy. Are you sure you're fine with this? The truth can sometimes be too much to bear for being oh, as fragile. There it is. Humans. Maybe, maybe I'm the same. Look over there. It's our statue. Yep. You have the fusion cell that Olivia gave you. Yes. Let's put it in the fusion drive. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. <laughs> it's a hotel advertisement. The hell? The building. It's all Oh, it's up. just from the fusion cell. That building there is a motel. That's a place to sleep and recover, right? Mhm. Mm yeah, that's probably why Olivia called it a resting place. The decor is somehow worse than I thought, even for cheap accommodations. <laughs> but having somewhere to lay your head that can give you the strength to stand on your feet. I agree. Still, I was expecting a little more. How disappointing. Wow, that was it? Alright. Might as well bounce then. Olivia is at least closer to my uh, fast travel point than uh, it was. It's just sad. You know, you just find statue and that's it, we're done? 
Oh. Oh! Oh, you got... Oh, thank you, game! How nice of you. I just heard the songs of the siren. I knew you could do it, Angel. Did you find the treasure? When the siren first started singing, everything started lighting up. There wasn't much after that. Is that really it? I suppose I thought a resting place would be more special. I'm sorry about all this. My misunderstanding just wasted your time. No, it's like Adam said. Having somewhere to lay your head can give you the strength to stand on your feet. Sometimes a place to rest is its own kind of treasure. Yeah, it's like how Zion is our resting place. I'll be going now. Let me know if you learn anything else important. Yeah, of course. Be safe. Ah. Uh, there you are, miss. And I can go run back to Barry and give him his wine while I'm here. Barry, time to booze it up. <laughs> For the alcohol that you requested. Chateau Rock. Jacques Tournel. Naparonti. Oh, the perfect combination. Thank you. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you, Angel. I owe you my life. Let's <laughs> attend the memorial service when the full moon rises. Okay, send me an invitation. I need to go now. Mm. It's been ages since I've tasted a wine of quality. Barry, just, just a little taste. Barry, I'm not getting you more. Dang, gap it, Barry. I'm gonna come back. And he's gonna be drunk off his ass. Special bait. All right, well, that takes care of those little troublemakers. Uh, no new quests have popped up, so it's time to just continue cleaning out the ones we got. All right, we're looking for a treasure box in here. Ah, that one. There we go. Now, what would this lovely treasure be? Ah, wrong side. The code's what, 0508, right? Yep, it's 0508. Much easier code than all those Greek symbols. Fishing data. Ooh. Could be useful for catching bigger fish. Oh. Best fishing data, you say? Hmm. Cool. Would be awesome. Maybe that'll help me catch the fish I'm missing. No. No, I really still need that last fishing region. A political right. Oh, might as well turn this one. In. Oh God damn it! No, the freaking wine request again. Where's the fantastic bait? Hold on. First things off. Oh. To go to the cradle soon. If I need scavengers, see this quest. Bring me a bottle of Chateau Malak. God damn it! This wine must be a very compelling liquid. Uh, memo. Fill in twenty entries of the fishing codex by catching twenty different fish and visit Clyde. Huh. Damn it! If I combine these notes, I can get a hold of some fantastic bait. Yeah, but the problem is, I need you know the the freaking 20 fish, which is kind of a problem because I can't get the last fish yet. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Oh, uh, okay. I'm gonna have to come at that from the opposite side. All right, I had to look this up because this is kind of one of those pain in the ass ones. You're actually supposed to shoot these barrels here. All right, there you go, yep. The barrels knock off the friggin' bus. A little hint game would have been nice there. There. Now, where's this actual treasure chest I'm supposed to be picking up? Ah! It's an outfit box. The blue monsoon! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I suppose this is my client's treasure. A custom nano suit. Very fancy one, too. 
All right, uh, no, we're not going to the bulletin board because I have plenty more missions to do here in the desert. Like this one, finding out how to get into the opera house. Okay. Oh, I feel like an idiot. There's literally a, just a hole in the freaking birdcage right there. I thought it was this whole thing to get into the bird birdcage, but apparently it's just right there. <sighs> I feel stupid now. Yeah, it's literally right here. Hey, buddy. Take me down into the opera house. This is as far as you're going to take me? Oh, I have more of them over here. Okay. I mean, that's a that's a bit of a fall, let's be honest. <laughs> oh, fuck. This must be the opera house. It's obviously ancient, but it looks so different from other ones. I should investigate this more. What do we got here? Let's change the subject. Anya, the people in your life have said that you've been over the moon to star in such a moving performance. Oh. Yes, that's correct. The moment I received the script, it just left off the page, and I thought, this is it. It was magical. Okay, hold on. By singing, you mean beyond faith, right? How do you feel? It's become quite a sensation across social media platforms. It's surreal. I never expected this much interest from so many people. I couldn't be more grateful to all my fans. I'll always give 100%. Some people have said that after hearing the masterpiece, they've been hungry to find out who this Inya is. Ooh. Okay, how are we getting started? I, uh, hang on, I, what I was going to do here, uh, really quick, is we're gonna turn down the music volume. I'm doing about 70% because it's it was overpowering the voice volumes. This song, it's so much like the one Enya's always singing. The lyrics seem a bit different. Hmm? It might be included in some of Enya's lost memories. Okay, what else we got? I mean, I see the loot goblin right there. We're gonna deal with him real quick. Oh. Buried ruins. as the main character, Katakuri. What will be the fate of Katakuri? Will it be doom? Will it be honor? Or will it be love? We are holding a lottery to participate in the Eidos Opera Company autograph signing event. More details can be found on the Art Center social media pages. Huh. Interesting. I mean, she was clearly some sort of diva. we got around here I see a poster I see two posters I see come on let me grab the poster here what do we got Dana machine main actress artificial actress Enya you can never totally rely on analog information transmission sources <laughs> the person here does look really similar to Aranya. And she even has the same name and everything. Huh. 
Still missing... Looks like one more thing beyond this one. Madame Machine. Ados. Art Center. Information about time, host, organizer, and sponsors. Target audience. How to watch. Admission on first come, first served basis. Mm hmm. It seems that an autograph session with the stars was held after the performance. They even had a souvenir shop inside the art center. <laughs> there seems to be more data here about Enya. Alright. So what's number seven? I kind of figured it was going to be the violin at the, in the center. There's a person. I missed a person. Ah. There's another person. This is an analog security system. I see a familiar face. Is that Enya? There's a bit of data here as well. Let's see. I'm going beyond fate to be with everyone. Enya, from what I've gathered so far, it's like Digger said. The Enya here and the Enya and Zion are one and the same. Beyond fate. Was that the title of the song? Let's see. So there was a performance here, and Enya was the lead singer. That about right? Our memory sticks are designed to store the most important information in the deepest places. The fact that that song was the only memory Enya had left proves just how important it is to her. Isn't that enough? I don't think you'll find anything else. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay then. Let's go. Nice. Entry token. Huh. Nope. As much as I would love to use this to get out of the opera house really quick, can't get away with that. Gonna have to make the climb. Dude, you gotta let me get on top of you first. There we go. So, Francis's brother was hiding in these ruins. It isn't that unusual, Eve. But I guess it is pretty remarkable to have survived this long. Coming from 807. Let's just deal with the fanatical brothers and be on our way. Okay. Hmm. Didn't really need the block there. Again, have I been up here already? I don't know. For some reason, this seems very familiar. Maybe I have been up here and it's like, eh. <laughs> I just didn't have a reason to come up here before. No, I would have clearly found this person if I had been up here before. Ah, too much has happened. The Natibas invaded, the colony fell, the end of the world has come, and yet I'm still alive. I guess my luck has finally run out. Sorry, man. Books? Hmm. I heard it. I heard the voice of truth. I got my hands on the angel's hologram device and was given my first lesson. They said that they realized the origin of all sins after they fell to the ground. This was a coincidence, but at the same time, fate. Mother Sphere. Mother Sphere is not a god. She is not the purveyor of wisdom in the network. She is the... Treaded rod, the blah, 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 blah. Praise the voice of truth. Praise the blah, blah, blah. I will no longer yield. There is no time to waste suffering with trials and hating Mother Sphere. I will leave to find the teachings of the blah. My destination is where they come from. I found their angel's egg. It's located in the far west of here. I will follow their trail. Angel's egg. What does this mean? The voice of truth. I'll consider it. He left coordinates. Oh. Well, I suppose we'd better follow him. And conveniently, it's also over by where this other quest is. So thank you for that. Hello. Oh, I see. I've been wondering, because there, the, there was these, yeah, there's these two sticks there. I was wondering where the heck those went. Well, now I know. They go up. And I can hear Adam pinging, which probably means there's a can involved somewhere. Alright, up. 
Oops, a daisy. Yep, there's a can cozy. Thank you. It's only a one star, really, man. And I think there's also a person down here. Yep, there is. I'm wondering how I got to this person. Well, by person I mean angel corpse, clearly. Thank you. Now, BHP, please. Nope, another beta core. Well, I figured I wasn't gonna end on an odd number. Is that a drop pod? Yeah, but I gotta deal with the critters here first. I gotta hand it to him. How did a cultist even find this in the first place? This voice brought him all the way here. Whose voice could it have been? Eve three, huh? I saw it. I saw the beautiful appearance of the... Uh, it must be Angel or something. I was right to come here. The boat that fell from the orbit, the cursed Ark, and the Angel's Egg. They attained enlightenment after casting it all aside. They attained enlightenment, or my eyes were opened by their grace. They are walking. They are walking in the midst of the sandstorm. They are headed to Abyss Lavar. What secret was hidden by the blah, blah over there? The voice of the truth shall bring to light all abominable secrets. I will follow. I will follow the the noble one cloaked in black shadow. Hmm. Whoever it was, they must have been pretty easy on the eyes. It says he went oh. to abyss the floor. Another lily unlock. I'll track him down. Well, I'm not going to abyss Lavar just yet, so let's leave that quest be for now. What in the... No, oh, that's a lot of dudes, man. Ow, why is I getting the freaking ax? Ah, freaking tentacle too? Okay, there's too many people here. There we go. Didn't hurt a little. Use those beta skills. Actually, screw this. Use the burst skill. <laughs> That's how you thin the herd. Should have done that in the first place. Combat. Who am I still in combat? Oh, this is not the frickin' tentacle. There. Am I out of combat now? Are you happy? Echo's Lament. Freedom Liberation Alliance was going to cross the Great Desert peacefully and build a settlement at the rally point. We cannot trust Oracle, who imprisons us in the cradle, suppresses any voice of reason, and is hatching a mysterious plot using Natibas. We swear on our fallen comrades that we have been holding fast to non-violence. However, we came to a conclusion that we cannot withstand the city anymore. All we can do is flee the city and hope for the best. But as we fled the city, they struck us from the shadow. In the darkness masked by the sandstorm, they chased after us. In the end, we are all scattered apart. I wish this was just a bad dream, a nightmare. I ran like a maniac holding a container of our funds and supplies, and the evidence of Oracle and the Royal Guard's monstrosity in my hands. But we are free and united people can't be defeated. Comrades, the Zanarvas soon arrive. Ah, I see them. I need to call out to them. I need to let them know my location. Here, I have drones. I will contact my comrade by delivering these data chips via the drones. This person. We gotta find drones, huh? Wandering around the Great Desert is asking for trouble. A lot of it. There's a reason Zion makes a point of banishing its criminals. Still, something is strange about this. Who or what could have done this? Probably a Nativa. Or maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I don't know. Guess it doesn't really matter either way. That's true, but in any case, it says the data chips were flowing away using drones. I'll search the area. Uh, of course I will. Of course I will. And I imagine those drones will have the code for this, huh? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot down the drones and get information. I see them. Oh, 
I might need to get closer. These guys are kind of hard to hit from here. To mention, I'm literally shooting into the god's dang sun, which never is a good idea. Except now I can't even deal with this from here. All right, one and two. Ah, the truth under the city of Zion. No one can hide the truth forever. Through my comrades, who after the truth suffered mysterious deaths, we won't stop. The royal guards are transporting Natiba blood through the great desert. They claim it strictly for research purposes. We obtained multiple pieces of evidence that there are living Natibas under the city of Zion. The cradle, blood, Natibas. What is the truth behind all this? The guards are hunting us down. They call us traitors and they mean to track us down to the ends of the world. Until the truth is out, we will protect the evidence we collected with our lives. A united people cannot be defeated! I'm pretty sure you were defeated. I two. expected as much. Hmm? We, the Freedom Liberation Alliance, have acquired decisive evidence about the Royal Guard's atrocity. They are using every possible means to imprison people in the cradle and brand those who resist as traitors and purge them. They hide behind the excuse that we are running out of energy, imprison those who resist or complain and coffins, and eventually will take over Zion. Should this truth be revealed, Oracle and Royal Guard's tyranny will end before the strength of united citizens. Hmm. These people risked their lives for this. I'm not sure what they were thinking. Well, whatever they were thinking, not everything is black and white. It's all open to interpretation. Well, there's nothing more to investigate. Hey, if we're heading back, why don't we visit that restaurant again? It's possible we could have missed something. Mm -hmm. Restaurant again. Oh, alright. Might as well. That's the last mission I can do in the desert until we're off to do main story. And I still gotta swing by Ido 7 again and get more friggin' wine. Oh, hey, now there's a person here. What's an angel doing here? How are you involved? I know those people never made it back from the Great Desert. I see. So that's what happened. The truth can never be concealed. Have you not noticed something's wrong with Oracle? People settle for order and feign ignorance. What do you mean? Are you sure everything you believe is true, Angel? That is all I can say. But remember, next time, you might end up in our shoes. Hmm. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's see how this opera quest goes. Oh, Beyond Fate. Complete Enya in Sue Story. Ah, cool. How did everything go? Well, I found important information, thanks to Digger. It's about you, about your life before. It might just be speculation, but I think it's safe to assume Digger is right. I also found out the title of your song. I'm listening. You used to be an artist, in a broader collection of artists. But this was the most important clue. You were featured in a piece titled Madama Machine. The song you sang in it closely resembles the song you sing now. The song's title is Beyond Fate. Beyond Fate? Is that so? Yes, mm -hmm. though that's only part of the whole picture. It's okay. This is enough. Are you... are you sure about that? I still have more to share. Mm. Beyond fate. My past self could be urging me with those very same words. <laughs> to try and make peace with the past I've lost and accept what I have now. Uh, interesting interpretation. It seems as if my obsession has troubled many people. But now, I have someone looking out for me. Isn't that all that really matters? Well, I suppose you're right. Eve, thank you. You've done so much for us. All right, take this data. What is stored there will help you fully restore beyond fate. Ah. Okay, thank you, Eve. Gonna get the song all the way if fixed, huh? Could I maybe ask you to sing that song for me now? Oh, I'd be happy to. Oh, wow. I'm gonna get a full performance now.
Come on, I want to hear this whole song. Oh, I was actually expecting subtitles. That shot right there, that was good. <laughs> or are we broadcasting this throughout the entire freaking settlement? Nope. Oh, careful, Lily. <laughs> Little sis. <laughs> she is an adorable little thing, isn't she? It needed subtitles, but god dang, it's still beautiful. Ah, uh huh. <laughs> A little sad to think these two are already done with their storyline. And again, I don't know how long this game really goes. I might straight up be getting close to the end of it. I, I have no idea. And with that, oh wow. A oh, nice few chunk of uh, points. Literally back here for another bottle of this thing. And this guy better appreciate it because I had to make a whole trip to Eidos just for this one lousy quest. All right, dropping off the ones I can. There's your wine for 2k. And the precious treasure. Whew. So that just leaves the fantastic bait and the quest that wants me to go into Abyss Lavoir. Hmm. Right? Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, I believe then that this will be where I call it for today. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can't try and get fish number 20 off screen here. There's a slight chance I can at this point. Uh, emphasis on slight. But I have to try. So, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and favorite. And subscribe to join me for more booty shaking action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.